A couple months ago, I did a video called Hip Hop's Obsession with Super Mario Music. You know, just talking about a few times some famous rappers sampled music from a Mario game. Well, y'all just seem to love that video so much that y'all wanted a part two. And little did y'all little n***droids know, I was already one step ahead of the game, baby. Part two of the Mario Samples video was already halfway done when I dropped the first part. Now see, what had happened was my procrastination issues started to flare up again, pretty badly actually. And not to make any excuses or anything, but I was low-key having trouble finding more songs to include in the video. And it wasn't that there was a lack of material to work with, it was just that these songs weren't worth including in the video to be honest. But not gonna lie, I gotta give a big shout out to y'all boys for giving me a a ton of suggestions in the comment section of the last video because low key without y'all i probably wouldn't have been able to get part two done but check me out right i'm gonna just jump straight into the video let's go the first song on this list is going to be called tomogachi released in 2014 by black cray and xavier wolf This song samples Forest of Illusion from Super Mario World for the SNES. Black Cray and Xavier Wolf are kind of like OGs of the newer generation of hip hop, like the cloud rap, emo rap type sh I'm not gonna get too deep into both rappers, but Black Cray, he's from Richmond. I'm not gonna get too deep into both rappers, but Black. I'm not gonna get too. Fuck. I'm not gonna get too deep into both rappers, but Black Cray, he's from Richmond, Virginia. He's also one of the founding fathers of Goth Money Records. Xavier Wolf, he's from and he was once a part of the short-lived Raider clan. Never had a like me to come in here and say, what the fuck are you making pancakes for? We can go to AHA. Anyway, back in 2014, they collaborated on a Kane solo produced track called Tomagachi. Now, I actually kind of like this song. It really shows what time period this song was made in. The super cliche sample placements and sound effect use and the poorly mixed vocals. I'm not even trying to roast this song. I like it. I think most people who aren't tapped in with the wave they had going on and just young people in general, like I'm talking younger than me, will say this song is ass. But I don't know. I'm a low key music enthusiast. I've been tapped in with Goth Money. So, you know, I f with this song. Like, I actually like it. Now, I'm not finna go and like blast this while I'm out, but you know, I can appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Next song is absolutely fucking trash. I'm not gonna lie, but I had to include it mostly for the memes, but you can't lie. You know, Miles, and yes, this is the next rapper I'm finna talk about. You know, Miles does his shit for real. My boy found the flow and he stuck with that bitch. It's fucking ass, but the thing is going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Slipped in the tub and hit my neck. Went to the store, bought some chicken breast. Got beat up by a strong chef. Went to a WWE event and became the rest. Don't talk to me, you got morning breath. She went, ah, and I passed out my car stuck in the snow yeah. old lady he needs some milk this song yoshi in 2021 samples the death theme from super mario world and you want to know what's crazy though you know miles made this song like three years ago so he's actually rapping halfway normal in this song this is like you know miles in his rarest form this beat goofy as hell though and the bars are goofy as hell like i, I ain't gonna lie this is a goofy ass song but he was flowing on that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. He was low-key kind of sliding. The next song, third song on his list, is gonna be Genesis by <laughs> Side Boys. This song was released in 2022, and it was produced by Bud Dwyer. This song samples the Game Over theme from Super Mario World. Love them or hate them? I'm not gonna lie. I hate them, but... You can't deny the fact that the Sky Boys own a decent chunk of chronically online music fans. All the other ones, like me, don't really like their music. And it's like two groups of people that don't like their music. It's like the people who like just don't really care for them, like me. And then there's people who just like really, really, really like don't like their music. Like they absolutely hate their music. It gets hilarious at that point. I really like this tweet right here. It says, you play boys in my car, we gonna pull over and beat the shit out of you. I kind of agree with this, not gonna lie, but still, damn. I'm not a big SB fan myself, but I did listen to the song and I gotta say, it's a banger, it slaps. There are so many shitty tight beats on YouTube which sample the game over from Super Mario World, but the way it's done in this song is completely different from all those tight beats. And I love how it's chopped up to make a completely different melody. And even though I don't like the side boys for real, I f*** with the bars they spend on the beat. Their flows are tight, you know, same with the melodies too. Overall, I would say this is a W song. The fourth song on this list is gonna be Game Over 
by Toby Lou. Top of the morning to ya. Tell me you're coming to ya. Say no later than sooner. Uh, all I want to do is do ya. Released in 2016, this song also samples the Super Mario World Game Over theme. We going two for two, baby. You feel what I'm saying? This time around, this song is going for more of an R&B vibe, and the beat samples the same 251 chord progression like all the other shitty type beats on YouTube. The production, along with Toby Lou's angelic vocals, saves this entire song. The beat still gives me 2015 YouTube type beats, but it's like one of those fire ass beats, the ones where it's like impossible to get in contact with the creator because they're on some mysterious opium bullshit. So you steal the beat to put it in a song on all plats, hoping the producer won't like catch you and shit. Then he catches you and takes the whole song down. It's like one of those type of beats. All right, the fifth and final song in this video is gonna be called Rat Music. DJ Snitch Bitch Entrance Theme, released in 2017 by JPEG Mafia. This song samples Dire Dire Docs from Super Mario 64. I had to save the best for last, I'm not gonna lie. This is by far the funniest fucking song I found while working on this video. It's something about songs that have an equal balance of being absolute dog shit and amazing at the same time. This is an example of that. First of all, the slow down sample of Dire Dire Docs is giving me Robert Kelly vibes. You feel what I'm saying? This nigga JPEG Mafia sounds like Michael Jackson on the beat, but like the mixing is straight garbage. But the vocals are delectable. Like, bruh, JPEG Mafia sounds like a fucking angel on this track. So the song is called Rap Music, right? I find the subject matter at hand to be quite interesting in this song. Usually rappers make music about how they're not a snitch and how they'll never spill the beans on their fellow comrades. But JPEG Mafia just hopped in the stew and did the exact opposite. He's rapping from the perspective of a snitch. A proud one. I was gonna ask what you guys think was the best entry, but f*** that this is the one it's absolutely groundbreaking it pushes the boundaries of rap it's, it's something i've never heard before never seen before even though it came out in 2017 i'm just now seeing this shit you know what i'm saying damn i just spent all that time talking about the lyrics i didn't even say anything about the beat the beat is cool i guess i mean it's not entirely as but i will say i'm gonna just say it, the vocals carry this song the beat is all right all right ladies and gentlemen that's where the script ends yeah i'm off script we straight up free balling now you feel what i'm saying anyway that is part two of whatever i'm gonna call this video famous rapper sample mario songs you, you you already know the gist you already know the deal you know i'm you know i'm getting that you feel me if you made it to the end of this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below you know what i'm saying give me some more video game series to do i know y'all got some under y'all belts y'all some big miles in the comments you know what i'm saying make sure to go check out my music on soundcloud spotify and apple music you feel what i'm saying i got a super mario 64 ep coming out pretty soon so yeah stay on the lookout for that and i'm I'll catch y'all boys later. Peace.